Hey, check that out, boys and girls. Look at that, eh? That's uh, what, 92, 93, 91 Cavalier Z24. You know, Nick, it's really funny to see this because yesterday I actually put a picture I found through my archives of a friend who had an 89 Z24 convertible, and it was white also, and I took a picture of a fuzzy dice. He loved the fuzzy dice. And I took the picture from about there with the dash and uh, look at that, the steering's gone, ventilation ducts are gone, stereo is gone. This is as parts car as you can get. Seats actually look pretty good. There's the springs. And it's cool to see this. We're up here in Laval, north of Montreal. It's like the the front. Yeah, look at that. Eh? It's been really gutted. gutted practically. Yeah, I love those skirt kits on that. It reminds me of that 80... 87 monogram Thunderbird. I want to make that model. Look at that next to the PT Cruiser. This thing is a piece of shit in comparison. You know, look at that. Pretty neat. Maybe I'll make this all like one video just to see what else you can see. That's that's old school. Look at all this boring crap here. Oh, look at that. Hey, what the hell? Oh, it's a Grand Am. Grand Am. Yeah, still a few of these around here. Of course, wherever you live, there might be a lot more of these left. I see another old uh, Cavalier there. Look, it looks like a 96, 95. Oh, it's an Intrepid. <gasps> an Intrepid? Yeah, Oh, I like those Intrepids. I got to really watch my step here because I got a, a crack right through across in the width of my uh, sole of my shoe there. Uh, don't buy Airwalks, by the way. Or don't buy them, especially from the... Oh, there's an Intrepid. Yeah, look at that. Oh, boy, you got to be careful here, man. Look at that Intrepid. Sweet, circa 90. Oh, and it's even got that weird... That weird chameleon type of gray. Look at that. That's too bad. These cars... So, In my opinion, I've talked to a couple of friends of mine, and I think that these... I think that these Intrepids... This is a 96, I think. These were the coolest sedans of the 90s. There's no question in my opinion. Oh, look at that. It's too bad. Another one that's all stripped out. Uh, they, I had a friend who had one once. It was dad's company car. Man, there's so much room in the back of these things as a tall guy. It's crazy. And when they came out, they had rave reviews. But over time, you know, this broke and that broke. And let alone the starting problems they had or stalling, I should say. Look at that, I was just telling uh, Nick, I said there was one like this in my area for a while. It was red, it was mint, it had the chrome mags. I think I saw it not long ago, but it was already showing wear and rust, unfortunately. What year is this? I don't know what year this is. I should say on the front, It's uh, looks like it's an 01. And Mazda, they had their own version of this too. I don't know what it was called though. Yeah. So you know me, guys. Yeah, I like to film pretty much what's the rare, eh? These Impalas are a dime a dozen, eh? I saw one, a nice one yesterday, though, a red one. Looked like it could have been an ex-police. Uh, ex fire Corp. Hey, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, eh? Look at that old GMC Jimmy S15. Which reminds me of when I had a teacher back in high school had one, and, uh... You know, the guy was a jerk, though. He was such a snob. He's a history teacher. I remember it was gray. Somebody loved this thing, eh? To have those, uh, type of fog lights there on there. That's pretty cool. Was that 93? Where's the year? Where's the year, man? It says 86. I don't know. Is it 86? The door doesn't even freaking open. I think this thing's been here quite a while, eh? There we go. Ooh, boy, that is really old. Look at the color of those seats. <laughs> Yeah, that's really old. Look at those buckles. Eh? Yeah. But I can't, I, I can't see the year. That's not original. Yeah. No, that looks new even. I can't see the year. I said 86. I don't think it's an 86 though. I don't think the GMC Jimmy had a grill like that. Unless the grill was changed out probably. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you still see one of these from time to time. Not many though. Yeah, I guess it's an 86.
Look at that, eh? These fender flares, man. It's too bad. This is too bad because you can see the guy who had this thing. He loved it. I mean, look at those fender flares. I've never seen one with those before. So he blew the engine, blew the tranny or either one, and that's it. Game over. And look, we could see. Look how long this thing sat for. Really long time. This is weird because look at the rear bumper. It's like great. I'm not even sure that's... I don't. That's not even the original bumper, by the way. That's really old. That looks like a bumper from the 60s. What the, did you see anything for mileage or? Uh, I don't know, it said sixteen thousand. No, nah, it went over. Fuck, really went over twice even. Probably two hundred and sixty. Oh yeah, it smells great too. Eh? Mm. Still neat though. Still neat to see. Look at all these freaking minivans, eh? <laughs> Why? Nice old Buick. Here's another one you didn't see too much of up here. People would instead would have bought an Acura or Lexus or something. That man, holy cow, that looks like one of those tractors that's used to pull planes. I'm sure that's what that has to be. That damn, that's old. Look how old that is. The round lights, yeah, aviation, services. aviation services. There you go. Holy schmoly, that's really old. That's really cool. Holy Jesus, a Sebring 04. Wow, that's a trip, man. Look at the door handle alone. Look how old this thing is. Look at that steering wheel. Whoa, that's old. Like, I mean, like, looks like 70s, at least 70s. What else is in here? Anything interesting else in there? No? No. Okay, now the sun's back out. It's pretty hot now. Jeez, have we seen everything? Oh, there's the other side of the Japanese. Mm -hmm. You could have swore I just saw one of these green and silver Chevys just recently. They sold a lot of them in these colors, but this is what I really wanted to catch right here. Probably only because it's an old Econoline, it's an ex-ambulance, but... You can see it's an 05, but also because of this. This uh, serves some sort of Jewish community in Boisbriand, which I didn't even know there was a Jewish community. I know there's a lot of Jews also in uh, uh, in St. Adele there, more in Heights, you know, but... Uh, See that? It says Kairos Tashomrin. Shomrin. Man, I thought it was only Code St. Luke that had their own ambulance service. Pretty cool to see, you know? But there's nothing left in this thing, eh? Look at that. It's gutted. It's gutted out. No, well, still neat to see, man. Still need to see. Look at that rust out. Holy mackerel. But hey, it's an Econoline, you know. As a paramedic once told me, hey, they don't have they don't have any downtime these things, you know, compared to uh, other uh, other type of ambulances. I love two tone. I love chrome. Even if it's junk. Really junk. Anything else scanning? No, boring. <laughs>